Welcome to Now About the Jamesville. Hope you're well. Thanks for joining me. Well, it is a gloomy Saturday today um, and it's raining all day. So today is a good day to be staying inside the boat and there's plenty for me to crack on with. Um, last night when I played a little bit of electric guitar when I got back from, from dinner, um, there's a whole faff involved with that. I've got to open up the dinette, get the amp out, get the leads out. They're always caught around something. Then I've got to hunt around for my books and my plectrums and all that kind of stuff. Um, and every, in, order to, in order to get anything out of the dinette, I've got to take everything off the dinette. So this, as much as it's useful storage, this is not particularly kind of useful on a day-to-day -day level. So I'm going to try to, well, I've had a look through this and I've taken everything out of this that needs to be put into other storage. And my main plan is to create something along this side here. Um, I've mentioned before I want some kind of book rack or something like that because I've got loads of guitar books, loads of maps and coloring, you know, kids coloring in books and stuff. So I thought that could go there. Guitar amp, that new battery power pack thing can go in there and all the bits and pieces for that. Just things I need to kind of access quite, quite readily, but are quite lumpy bits. I don't want them out and about. So um, yeah, that's gonna be the plan. So I'm gonna crack on with that. I've got enough timber on board, I think, to make the frame and everything. I need to go out and get another panel like that, like the door, to go on the top of it, because I don't think I've got enough of those long slats. Um, and I don't think I could be bothered to do that, uh, only because it's too near the fireplace. It would look a bit weird. So uh, I'm gonna see what I can source for that. Be nice if I got some oak, but I don't think I'd better get that. Yeah, right, that's the plan. Let's crack on. So what I'd like to do is to make a wall cabinet kind of occupying this area here and then that kind of up to that height there possibly and then scribe in the rest of that door with a bit of off cut so that's kind of going to be my plan the thing i'm questioning really is i don't want it to start right there because that's going to look a bit weird kind of butting up against that and also it'd be too close if i was to have it coming out 90 degrees like that that would also look a bit weird because there'll be a, kind of a, a gap there, even though I can put my logs and everything there, so that's not too bad. But I'm thinking about basically angling it a little bit just to make it look a little bit nicer. And then again on that side there, before it goes into that kind of map and guitar book stand. I don't want it to come out too far because obviously once I've got the table here or anything, I still need a decent walkway. So it's going to come out a little bit further here than it is there. That's going to be th uh, kind of thinner, if you like, than the bit in the bedroom. And this bit is going to come out a bit wider because there's a bit more area to play with. And that means the ledge at the top here will be a little bit broader, which will be useful because it's for a ledge or to sit on or something but it also means in this area here i'll have a depth of cabinet of about 20 centimeters which is what i need so the first piece is in i've opted for a 45 degree angle on both ends um, and i've waxed the leading edge of this one here because i won't be able to do it now right so it's getting there I've put on that side bit there. I just need to do the same one there now. The only thing is, I'm not too sure what I'm going to be doing there. So I'm just trying to work that out now. Because obviously that's got a feature part of the kind of book area there. We'll call it the library. Okay, so I've made these two, which I've screwed together so I can shape them basically. Um, so they're uniform. And the idea is that these are going to go against their profile to the side of the boat. And I'll have one there. The other one will feature as the stopper for the door, but also the end piece for the kind of book rack. OK, I've drawn a uh, pattern on the two uprights. The reason I've had to do it like this is so I can attach it to the wall at the top and at the bottom so it's kind of stays in place nicely. Obviously it's been scribed to it so I'm just going to cut out that pattern on 
obviously will go through onto both of the boards so they'll be the same the only difference is is that this one here needs to have that edge because it's marrying up with that bit there whereas the bit that goes along there is going to continue with the frilly pattern all the way down to the bottom okay so i've cut these bits out now that's kind of got a kind of half nice pattern to it so that's all right got to tidy it up a bit So I've just temporarily put those in place just to see what it looks like. And I think I'm going to keep this as a straight edge like that one and block that in with a magnet bit so I can access that. And I'll just have this up a bit here for maps and kids colouring in books and stuff like that. But it covers the side of that quite nicely and I reckon once there's something on there that'll look all right. A couple of shelves in there. Right, this is what it's looking like now, center on. So I've got the panel not fixed in on that place, but cut to size. Same there. Then I've got to work out what I'm doing with this lower bit here. Probably put a shelf in there, cover that up with a board, paint that. Two boards there, both on magnets. I just have to profile in the edge of that one and the edge of that one a little bit. Bit on top. Shelf in the middle. Happy days. Well, I've got the remains of the child killing door here and this is gonna feature as the two front parts of this. So I'm just using my power pack and my jigsaw. Well, it looks unfortunately like I will have to go out because I've run out of board. I've just got enough to do those two. So I've basically rough cut them. I've got all that pretty much correct. So now I need to get another board for that bit there and then work out how I'm gonna arrange that, get a top on that, shelf in the middle. That's all quite straightforward. I've put that supporting piece at the back there, which will obviously help the uh, ledge to sit on it. Now I need to do the same and create a shelf. Kind of, it's got to be fairly low down because the actual um, amp and stuff has got to fit in. And for me to be able to get it. So I've got a busting amount of space to play with, but I didn't want it to be too spacious uh, because I've got that much room to play with in the room. So I've used an off cut from my old bed slats, which was the old dinette, to create that long shelf there, um, which is the right height so I can put my amp and everything on that top of one. And there's actually more space at the bottom than I thought there was gonna be. Obviously I've still got the pipes underneath there. I've just noticed the condition of this board is utterly horrific. So there's that bit there. I was going to paint it, so I wasn't really worried about the colouring stains, but that's bad. That's bad. So I'm going to get another bit of old bed and redo that and use that as the template. Right, I've recut this, which is better because I've got a nicer edge there, even though you're never really going to see it. Um, but it's also stopped raining. So I'm going to take this opportunity to go to B&Q and get myself another bit for the top there.
So I've trimmed down the board so it fits lengthways. I've scribed a little bit of the back so it kind of fits a little bit more snug. I'm not gonna drive myself mad, that's, that'd be fine. Now I need to trim it there and across there. And this off cut I'm hoping is gonna create a shelf or two for that thing. This inner line here is the outline of the frame and the outer line I've done, I've done by hand because I want the outside of this to be a little bit, I don't know, wonky, which uh, should suit me fine. Okay, so this is it in its current setup. Obviously I haven't put the boards on yet um, and I need to sand everything back and tidy it up and stuff, but I'm just basically looking to see how it all how it all fits together when the magnets on there that will keep that door closed and that's what it will look like so kind of well I'm quite happy with that well, I've had a tidy up I'm going to go to my parents house for dinner in a minute um, but before I do I'm going to see if I can slap on some paint on these boards quickly so when I get back it'll be dry and I can crack on well look, this will work, so I'm not going to sit on there. I mean, it's not particularly comfortable for me, but for the kids, certainly the little ones, that would be kind of perfect height, but that would be fine. But yeah, for an adult, it's not, well, it's not comfortable in the slightest. But, no, not at all. Um, but yeah, for the kids, that would be fine. Right, paint. Right, so that's one coat on all of them. I'm going to go to uh, get myself some dinner at mum and dad's and I hopefully get back here maybe do another coat of that put the varnish on put it all together and call it a night okay I'm back from dinner quickly slapped on a second coat because it's baking in here so that'll dry in about or touch dry in about 20 minutes now I'm gonna take off that top bit there take those bits off and that bit and all those sand them all back and wax them all I'm just going about creating a ball nose end on this plank. Or a, a uh, just a nice finish, basically. And I thought a ball nose would be quite nice. I'm not too fussed if it's you know 100% even what I really want though is for it to be a nice smooth edge so when you put the wax on you don't see all the little uneven bits I'm well happy with how this has come out. The um, the next bit I need to do is take these two bits off, um, sand them back a bit and um, wax them. I'm not gonna put a ball nose on it like I've done here. I'm just gonna kind of take the edge off it so it doesn't hurt if the kids touch it or anything. Um, and then keep on waxing all of that stuff. Adorn the doors much like I've done in the bedroom. Um, I'm actually decorating or kind of making the inside of this cupboard look okay because um, Obviously, if I was to open it, there might be people here. They I want it to look kind of presentable on the inside. Unlike the bedroom cupboards where there should not be anyone else in the bedroom but myself. Um, then uh, it doesn't really matter what the inside of those ones look like. But this one, no, it needs to kind of look a bit better. Um, so that will be a plan for tomorrow. Uh, what else is going on tomorrow? Ah, table leg. Yeah, I'm hoping to get... Um, I'm not getting a table leg as such. I'm getting some bits which I might be able to make a table leg from. That's my plan. Because this needs to be a table leg which reduces in height and then can also become the um, the double bed for the dinette. So I've got an idea. It's coming tomorrow. It's meant to come today, but I'll see what, see what happens with that. A hydraulic pedestal leg is about 400 quid. It's ridiculous. So I'm going to see what I can do. 
Um, what else? Um, it's pretty chilly over here at the moment. I've got, I mean, not granted, not in the boat, it's baking hot in here. Um, but outside it is, granted, I mean, not by, you know, viewers in Canada, um, this is not the kind of weather that you guys break out your thick gloves. But for me, minus one is thick glove time. So, um, but hoping that weather's going to start to improve. Um, it was hammering it down today, but yeah, hopefully tomorrow will be slightly nicer. So I'll see you then. Take care. Bye-bye.